Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you uh, a quick and super easy dinner idea followed by my typical after dinner kitchen cleanup. So for tonight's dinner, we're going to be having steak fajitas. And the steak that I'll be using is London broil. Currently I'm um, doing a program, a workout program by Anita Herbert. And so I'm trying to stick to her macros and what she suggests during this um, exercise program. So I'm going to be using a leaner meat for the steak fajitas. And so far, um, I just started the program. It's a six weeks uh, challenge and so far I really enjoy it so if you're interested in health and fitness and really um, learning about your macros and how to eat her program is really fantastic for that so I encourage you to look her up again her name is Anita Herbert she has a Facebook page and then just a great community to learn and be supported So one thing that I do when I'm cooking dinner is to clean up while I'm cooking because I hate when it's all piled up. I just feel overwhelmed. So as soon as I um, have something to clean, I often will go ahead and clean that up and clean the um, surfaces so that it's just not corroded and overwhelming. So my husband stepped in here to make sure that the peppers didn't burn while I was cutting up the meat and I still am loving these uh, kitchen scissors that I use to cut up our meats and things and I will um, definitely link them in the description box below and I got them off of Amazon. So here I'm just adding some Worcestershire sauce, some salt, some pepper, and some garlic and then of course the onions and Peppers are just sauteing in some extra virgin olive oil. So here you're going to see that I'm going to transfer my onions and peppers into a dish and cover that and have that separate from my meat. And the reason that I don't cook them together is when I'm eating on an, um, a health plan, normally you need to have your portions weighed. And so it's so much easier to have your vegetable and then your protein source separate so that it's easier to weigh out according to um, whether I'm eating it or my husband. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just um, cooking now the meat. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and sit down and um, have dinner. If you're just stopping by for the first time, hi, my name is Amy. I'm glad that you're here. I normally do videos on cleaning motivation, decorating, and also I like to do DIYs for home decor. If that's something that you would enjoy watching, I ask that you hit that subscribe button. And also give me a big thumbs up. That helps me to know what kind of videos that you're enjoying. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you I've pretty much kept up with everything that was um, needing to be cleaned so after dinner I'll just really have to clean up the skillet and then just clean my surfaces because I really hate to have that all to do after I'm done eating what could go wrong 
home to our favorite songs. All I want. I really value sitting down to eat as a family, and we try to do this most nights. Um, it's just a special time where we can talk about our day and reconnect without phones and TVs and other distractions. And I just really think that it is an important time. So after dinner, it's cleanup time and everyone puts their um, dishes away and then goes their separate ways. And then I go ahead and start my after dinner cleanup. So first I usually uh, start by clearing off the table and getting everything put in the dishwasher. And then I start um, with the leftovers and putting them into different containers so that we can have them um, for our lunches the next day. You know I want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I end up talking about to be the one you can trust I feel so useless because I let you down so after dinner I always make sure to wipe down the table to get off all the crumbs and fingerprints and I usually do this just with dish soap and a dishcloth and then every evening I change out my dishcloth and my dish towel so that it's new for the next day then I'm just going to quickly wipe down my counter and you can see my hubby there, he's at the microwave. He's on a kick right now that after dinner he always has a cup of tea and he does just a normal um, black tea and then he sprinkles a little ginger and a little cinnamon and um, he says it's really tasty so why don't you give it a try and let me know. so selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try one thing I would like to do better is to plan out our meals a little better I know a lot of people do a menu for the week um let me know in the comments do you plan out like Per day or do you just buy meats and then figure out what you're gonna do a couple days before that's usually what I do I just buy our standard chicken or ground turkey a lean meat uh, of beef and then I just kind of plan a meal around it a couple days before but let me know in the comments um, what's some of your favorite quick go-to meals I just don't know what to do. so I do make it a priority to clean my sink after dinner because I hate waking up to a dirty sink in the morning and like I like to wash hand wash some dishes and I like to put them on the left so if my sink is dirty I wouldn't be able to do that so I just make sure to always clean and have a clean sink and here I'm just using um, what I get from Sam's just their dish detergent and then to make it uh, smell good and a little bit more disinfecting I'm gonna spray it down with the Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner so once a week I like to give my sink a little bit extra care and I will use a Brillo pad or even spray it down with a Clorox solution and or even just use uh, vinegar and water to really make sure that it's disinfected good I just don't know what to do
after dinner, we always usually like to watch some type of TV show. So right now we are watching Good Luck Charlie again. Um, it's one of our favorites. So in the comments below, let me know what's a good family show or what are you watching right now? We had just finished watching Lost in Space. That's a really good one. It's two seasons and um, we really enjoyed it. So if, if you haven't watched it, I would encourage you to watch it. It's really good. So last but not least is to give the floors a quick clean to get all the crumbs up so that in the morning everything is nice and clean. I don't know about you, but sometimes my mood can change depending on how cluttered my house is. So of course I'd like to be in a good mood. So if I can get this done before I go to bed, this is always a good start to my day for the next day. Also, I just wanted to remind you, this is just the way that I do things. If you don't have time to do this or you're too busy, absolutely don't feel bad about it. I mean, just do what you can do. If you have five, ten minutes, I would pick three things to maybe try to accomplish. And that would be to put your dishes in your dishwasher, wipe down your table, and then give your floors a quick vacuum. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching my typical evening routine. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It does help me to know if I'm doing a good job and to continue making these types of videos for you. If you haven't already, I hope that you could consider subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. Thanks so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye.